Assalamu alaikum friends and welcome back to the channel, always with you in your favorite. In this video, you are going to see some of the ways we can customize the look and feel and the behavior of the status bar and the navigation bar in Android and in Compose. Let's get started. So here I'm having a simple Android app in which I'm sharing a list of stuff. So we are going to try to customize this status bar and navigation bar with the available option we have. We are going to learn what causes and what changes, what is the main object that are responsible for that thing. First, we are trying to achieve a transparent look for this one and this one. Now, there is many ways to do it. The first thing, we need to enable something related to translucent stuff. So here, if you go to the theme you are having in your Android app, right, you need to find something called window translucent status. There is this one and there is for the status and there is for the navigation. Right? These are Boolean stuff, you need to disable them for the moment. Okay? And then you need to give them color. Well, you can give them color here. Same thing, you can enable and disable them in the Android code, in the Kotlin code, but I'm trying to show you this approach first. Here you just set navigation color. Navigation bar color like that, and there is the other color, which is status bar color. Here, if you want transparent color, it is simply under Android color, transparent, same thing, you would do it here. So let's see previously how it were looking. Here is how it were looking like that. You can see the navigation. I am enabling the navigation by default. A lot of people are not enabling that. So it is up to you whether you enable it or you disable it in your phone and also whether you handle it or not. So if you run the application right now, so here is the application. And as you can see, it is transparent. This is transparent here, as you can see, it is transparent. And one above, it's transparent. Okay, it's transparent, but you can't see it. It is transparent, like if you try to zoom in, you will see that there is like the icons up there, but it is transparent. Now, this is the way on how to make it transparent. I will show you also how to set up the colors from the Android code, right? So the first thing you notice that our app doesn't scroll all the way up. This is a mode called edge to edge, right? Basic idea on how to enable it, a lot of time it's coming by default, is that you go here and do enable edge to edge. Okay, and the reason why it is implemented like that, like a method to do so, it's because it has many implementation depending on which Android version you are running into, right? This is what makes it complicated. You are going to look into the code and how to do it yourself. So here, here is the app. As you can see, it is now transparent. And as you can see, it is also allowing us to do that thing, you can notice it from here. This is the hour and our application is scrolling all the way up, right? Maybe you want to do other behaviors like showing it, hiding it, changing the color, I'm going to see all of that. But before that, I'm talking about this edge to edge mode. This edge to edge mode, as I told it, has many, many implementation, okay? So from 21, the way on how to do it, we'll get here and add certain flag. If you are 21, this is the one I told you about, which is translucent status, like we disabled and enabled. Like if you go here, it is the same. If you click on it, here it is the same as this feature like here, okay? So it is basically the same. So this is why we are having a lot of cases depending on the Android version. Like in Android 29, you are going to achieve it via a different manner. So you can see, for example, we are setting up this thing here directly to fit the system windows. All right, so this approach also I could use it, but it is already used by this method. All right, so this is the idea. If you want to do it like that, that's much better. But if you want to enable it with one simple line, it's just that line, Windows Compact dot set this thing, set the core fit system all to the windows, and simply pass the QUnit window you are having, and guess set it. Okay, the core fit system windows tell it no, so it takes all the area it has on that phone. Okay, so this is this is really equivalent to Edge mode. Okay. But since you are handling many versions, it's much better to enable it directly like that. And luckily here in this method, we can provide two parameters, which is system bar size for both status bar and navigation bar, right? So if you go into that, you will see that this function takes system bar size. It's making by default here the color transparent for both colors. I think the both colors are those two, light screen and dark screen. I think this is the case. Let me check again. Auto exactly light and dark, all right? It's providing for those colors. But like this is the only option you are going to set by this one. But if you want more customization about the status bar and navigation bar, well, you can change the color like following. Simply you get access to the current window and a lot of the time it is not null. So what you can do, there is navigation bar color. And here simply just use your compose color. Actually, you can't use compose color, but there is a function that, okay, here's the thing. Let's make it blue, for example. And then there is a function called to ARGB. 
like that. That way you can set the color. All right, let me do the same thing for this one, actually for six bar and for six bar, I'm going to make it, for example, red. Now, if you run it like that, it's still edge to edge, but it will show the red one. I think we should disable it. Wait a minute, let's see. Exactly, as you can see, it is here, but when you scroll, okay, because it's not transparent, that's why it will not show, all right? But here is a great moment. We can apply something, which is to hide completely this one. Let's hide it completely. Let's say you want to hide it, or let's say you want to show it. So the way to control this thing is with something called window inset control, okay? So you need to get access to that object first. So first do uh, window compact dot get instance controller. Simply you would pass the window and the view, and actually that window has a view, okay? So with that approach, you will have a control, right? And with this controller, you can show or hide stuff which is a cool thing, and you can also change the system bar's behavior. I will show you to in the minute, and among of other stuff, right? So in order to show something, you need to access the type. So here's the thing. So it's simply an int, but they are configuring those ints specifically. So you do the following, Windows, I think this one, yes, and here there is, no, it's the other one, I think this one, yeah, it has types, and here it has navigation bar. So what you want to do, you want to show the navigation bar. And you want to show, for example, the other, all the other stuff, IME bar, which check IME, caption bar, system bars uh, as a whole. I'm going to do this one, but I'm going to hide them both. So it means you can do that on a reactive or a dynamic manner, of course. Let's run it again. I'm going to hide them completely. So here, as you can see, I'm hiding them, right? They are hidden, right? And if I'm scrolling, you won't see them at all. It is one thing. If you try to grab them, they will be grabbed. But after a certain amount of seconds, yeah, exactly. They won't disappear on their own unless you start scrolling, I think. Yes, even by scrolling, they won't be hidden. You need to hide them again. Actually, this is a behavior, right? So if you go to controller, I think, and there is behavior, yeah, system behavior. With this system behavior, the default behavior is what's causing that. If you change the behavior, I think it's still in the, I think it is here, this one. Yeah, behavior default, behavior show transient bars by swipe. All right, now if you do that, if you try to use them, if you try to swipe them, we will see them, but then they will hide automatically. So by default, they are hidden. And if I try to swipe them, you will see them here. See the colors has been changed, but then they will be away. Like one, two seconds, they will be away, which is a cool thing, which means if I start scrolling after a certain amount, they will be disappeared. So this is one thing of the behaviors you can use in order to customize this one. All right, so there is some kind of combination that doesn't work as you have seen, like, Changing the color with this behavior doesn't cause it to work. I'm not sure if it would work by doing it before it. Let's check it. I think it is the same, but let's do it anyway. Times something override the other thing. So this one wouldn't work. Yeah, exactly. Because of the behavior, it won't allow us to change the color. All right. So this is some ways to change the color. I think that's the idea. So you can see how we can show or hide certain stuff like this one. You can show and hide, you can change the color as you can see like that. Okay, this is doubled, I don't know why. Okay, and also to change the behavior of the system bars as a whole, which is a cool thing by using the controller. The controller allows you to do many things. Sometimes we want to do something specific to our UIs. Let's say that I want to have the padding, the padding of the current status bar or the current navigation bar. You can do that, which is a cool thing actually directly from here. Let's say that I want scaffold. Let's even try that with edge to edge mode. Let me delete all of that, don't need it. Enable, as you can see, we are enabling edge to edge, which means it should scroll all the way up and down. But I'm going to add the navigation bar padding, right? There is by the same token, there is status bar padding. There is all the other paddings, I think, yeah. IME padding, yeah, all of those. Let's do status bar, okay? It means it won't scroll up to the status bar because we are applying that pad. All right, so let's check it. So here is the thing. If I start to scroll, you will see it stops directly there. As you can see, it stops there immediately. But here you can see at the bottom that there is the item are already there. If I apply padding, of course, you won't see those. All right, so these are some of the ways to configure and customize the look and feel of your application depending on this status bar and also navigation bar. Whether you want to set them to transparent, you want to apply certain padding based on them, you want to show, hide them, change the color, or even change the behavior. So that's pretty much it on this video. Thanks a lot for watching to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and always see you in the next videos. Assalamu alaikum.